What's up everyone, Sam Burr here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a, hmm, what would we call this? Just exploring some mods. Some mods that I am interested in, maybe you guys will also be interested in. But before I get into it, um, don't forget to check out the recent tutorial I did on the official Cities Skylines YouTube channel. So the video I did was all about making a ship cargo bay. So go check that out. I'll link that below. Um, I'm sure you guys would really enjoy that. Now back to today's, to today's video. We're actually going to be looking at two different mods. So the first one is a mod that I used quite a while ago when it first came out, but I didn't really, um, you know, work out how to use it properly. So the first one is Tides. So you can find this on the workshop. I'll link everything below. So this is the mod that we're going to be trying today. So I'll just read the description very, very quickly for you guys. So it adds an extra layer of realism with this simple tides simulation. This mod makes the sea level rise and fall. It can add a nice little touch of realism to your game. So that's exactly what I like using. Set the range and speed of tide change in the options menu and watch as the sea level rises and falls periodically. I recommend leaving the settings as they are by default or lower. So I'll change those around. Um, if you go crazy with this speed in the range, the water could start acting up. Ugh, can't wait to have that. <laughs> um, if it gets out of hand, just click the reset, and bu reset button to bring it, bring it back to default. Then leave the simulation running for a while until things settle down. Okay, so some other little notes in there, but I'm not going to go through those. So basically, it's going to create tides. Um, I did try this a long time ago when it first came out months ago, but um, I just found that it was flooding the city or it just didn't fit my city So I deleted the mod and never looked back But I thought you know what since we're doing this bit of a swampy style map right here It could fit and so the other mod the other mod actually just came out or I don't know if it just yeah It came out on the 7th of October, so it's called the persistent fog adjuster so I'll just read the description quickly. The mod locks a specific specified fog intensity value. Uh, this was made since fog intensity values set in ultimate eye candy change after the game is resumed. So basically, I'm hoping that it's going to create really heavy fog. Judging by the little thumbnail picture there, I'm expecting like really, really heavy fog. Now, if you mix the fog and the tides going up and down and the swamp, this could be a good match. It could be a good combination. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through, see if it works. How good does it work? Can it work? I don't know. And just see, maybe you guys will also want to use them as well. Okay, so obviously you have to go enable them or subscribe then enable them. Um, and basically, let's go over to this view right here. So this is kind of a swampy area. So I do want it to be tidal. I think that that would make it more realistic depending on how title not sure just yet so let's go up into here and go into options it should be down the bottom yeah so here here are our two mods that we're doing today tides and persistent fog adjuster let's do this one first so i'm not really sure about all of this stuff so we'll just see how it goes let's press enable um i'm guessing that will just make it really fast let's go to 20 and just see what 20 <laughs> i don't know what's going i don't i really don't know what's going to happen if i press play is anything happening? Oh, okay, it's going down. Whoa. Oh, now it's going. Okay, so it's going right down. It's going down, 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 really low. Oh my god, I think this is a little bit too low. I don't want it to completely dry up. I basically, like, I want it to be kind of like this, but I still want there to be little puddles, maybe just a tiny little creek coming through. So, I, yeah, this <laughs> this is a little bit too much. Okay, come on. Let's go back up. I'm just curious how high, because I set it to 20, right? So is 20 going to make it flood over the top? or? Okay, so it's coming over. Yeah, it's... Okay, yeah, that was flooding way too much. Okay, well, we don't want that height. So let's go back into options. Um, we'll leave it at, we'll leave the speed at five for now, just so we can quickly see the up and down. Um, now let's set it down to, actually, what did it say in the workshop menu information thing? It said range five. Okay, let's try that range five. 
Okay, well, 4.9, close enough. Okay. Let's see. You going? No, what's going on? Let's open up the terrain button as well. So that's good. We got a little bit of water through here. Good. So it's coming up. Coming, coming, coming. The boats are hovering. It's coming up, up, up. So all of this land up here, this is like one little t terrain marker above the sea, the, the water level. So it's very, very close to it. It can very easily flood as well. So I want to bring the water up as close as I can, but without making it actually flood. Okay. Let me pause for a second. Is that flooding? Okay. That is flooding. Ah, uh, that's because I had to put this down really low, but hang on a second. Because this is so high, I, I put it down really low, but if I um, move it back up a bit higher, if I go back into here, into the terrain. Okay, so there we go, now it's back above. Now the boat's hovering, but let's pretend we don't see that. So as long as it's not going over, I think um, I read that, hang on, if we go back into here, so the the level that you want it to go to and stop, you click this when it's at that level. So I think mine is already set like that. But for example, if we wanted my water to stop at this height, then we'd go back into here and then we'd press use this as the sea level reference point. So the water shouldn't go above that. So let me just see, it's gonna go back down again. Come on, down you go. <laughs> really hard to see. Okay, so we've got a little bit of water through here. You going down or are you going back up again? What are you doing? I think it's going back up again. Okay. Actually, we'll put it on the three. So it's going up high. Okay, it's still flooding a little bit. What if I adjust this here? It should be fine, right? I think so. There's a little bit of overlap in there, but that's all right. Um, yeah, I think that is all right. Go like that. So when it goes back up again, and just before it starts flooding this area, I'm going to pause it and then set it as my sea level. Come on, up you go. Keep going. Is that the maximum? Okay. We'll stop it right there because it's just about to flood. I can see a little puddle there. So let's go back into here and set. I might increase this a little bit as well because I want the the bay area to be a little bit more dry. Okay, so I think we can increase the height of that a little bit because it is still a little bit down. Okay. Let's see, down we go. Let's see. So the, <laughs> the boat is hovering. Wow, that is too dry. Oh, actually, we're close. We're very, very close. But let me just check this again. Is it going to flood? <gasps> it floods for like a second. So, <laughs> okay. I f is this just, is it too low? Like, perfect, perfect. I think this is a low point here. Hang on a second. If we set that the same height as that did that work that the same height as that there we go so hopefully it shouldn't flood but now the boat is really high so hmm okay so i don't like how it completely dries up so i still want there to be a tiny little bit of water so what we're going to do is reduce it down to about six there we go six yes so i want there to be a little bit of creek water just a little bit going up 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 it's not flooding over here now oh my god Okay, going down, oh, okay. I think that was alright, now it was flooding here I think, it says these are flooding but there's actually nothing up there, look, there's no water, actually if, I think it was that one, can I just go like that, yeah I can make it go up a little bit so it doesn't think it's flooding, there we go, okay, 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 I think this is all right now. I think. It says it's flooding, but it actually doesn't flood. And ignore this. I know this isn't working. So, mm, you know what? I'm going to... <laughs> I'm sorry. This is very tedious, but I just... I want to get it right. I want to get it right. Options. We'll put it down. So maybe we should have left it at 5. Do 5.5. All right. Up it goes. 
back down, 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 down. Should be a little bit of water left through here. There was. Okay. When it goes down again, I'm going to do something. Come on, down you go. Down, down, down. Stop. Okay. I want to make just a tiny little bit of a water creek thing. So it, it obviously fits in at this level. So we'll go actually just make a tiny little one. So if you're on a little boat, maybe you could still come up here at low tide, but the bigger boats, obviously they wouldn't be able to fit. There we go. We'll go like this and then we'll, ho we'll see. Hopefully that'll work. And then this will go straight out here through the middle. Out we go back out into the larger swampy area. Let's go. Let's go. Do any of you guys use this mod already or do you have any issues with it? I'm curious because I don't know. Not that I really watch many other Cities Skylines YouTubers, but I don't really s hear about this mod at all, do I? Okay. Let's see if we have a little bit of a creek coming through here next time. This is it here. Come on. Okay, it's going down, going down, going down. Look at that. There we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Just a tiny little shallow waterway. Is it going to dry up? No. Oh, is it? No, that's perfect. Oh, perfect. Exactly how I wanted it. But please, guys, <laughs> ignore the floating boats, the houseboat, and then this guy over here, this big ship that's kind of hovering. And um, we've got these little, I don't know, these ones are hovering. And oh. Okay, so I think we have set that up. Now, in terms of the timing of it, I don't know. I wish there was like a, I, I don't know. Let's just set it at, at about 1.5 and see how we go. Good, because you don't want it to be too fast, because I feel like if it's too fast, it's a little bit unrealistic. And um, I'm pretty sure this map, I'll put the link for this in the description below, um, but I'm pretty sure this map is designed to be used with the tidal mod. So it, sh it should be fine. One thing I did do off camera is I made all of this shallow through here because the water was gushing through here and I, I don't think fast flowing water fits in with a swampy look, you know what I mean? So making it shallow slows down the water speed. Now, so we have fixed that up, great. Let's have a look at the other one. So if I just have a look what it says again, persistent fog and adjuster. So if I go back into my options down here, actually, first of all, I have everything turned off. So two is the maximum. So I guess I have to go into this one. So I have clouds disabled. Oh, there we go. I think, yeah, that's not good. Okay. So I guess that's the maximum because if I go back into it, I had it set at two, whereas this, the smallest is minus, I can't do minus, oh there we go, minus 0 0.49, so there's still a little bit of fog there. Actually that kind of looks good like that, it's just a faint fog, it's not too over the top kind of fits in right okay but just for comparison <laughs> just for comparison let's put it back up to two actually can I do three no I can't okay so two to me that could be a little bit too much fog because now it's kind of hard to see hmm actually I kind of wish it was thicker yeah that's all right I suppose I don't know I mean it's, it's all right I think let me just make sure, do I have it enabled in here? Fog intensity. Does that do anything? I don't think it does. Nope. What if we make it rain as well? Oh my god. Now I feel like we're in a typhoon or something. Actually, that looks pretty good, don't you think? That looks good. I like it. Well, those two mods seem to be working pretty good. Just to show you guys quickly again about the Tide mod, because I feel like that's the most tricky. So um, I have my range at 5.5 because I want I didn't want it to completely dry up and I didn't want it to completely flood. Um, 
speed 1.5 I guess that's pretty slow and then the water height that you want it to stop at so when it gets to that level you press this and then it sets it and then the water shouldn't go beyond that I don't know about the rest of those I'm not going to bother but yeah I'm glad I worked that out Oh, look at that you can actually see the the raindrops on the water I didn't know I didn't know I did that so the reason why I didn't try this in semi stock because it's such a huge city um, and there's a lot of areas that could flood that I don't even notice because this like I said the city is so huge um, one area could be completely fine the other could flood so if you are going to use the tidal mod I, I probably recommend using it or setting it up before you actually start building so then you can actually monitor it as you build Whereas impl implementing it after you've built a whole big city could be an issue, but I'm still willing to try. The only thing is with Sami Boss stock is that I have a lot of cruise ships coming in, I have a lot of cargo ships as well, and the ferries, so I can't really adjust it too much. But with this one, we can get away with it because we don't have any ships. Ugh, I like it. What do you guys think? I like this little town. Ugh. In terms of, did I make it swampy enough? What do you guys think? I got all the... I got the big swampy mangrovey trees and then the the hovering boats the little docks and things like that so lots of grass along the the shoreline as well and just quickly i won't be uploading this save to the workshop just because i have too many different mods and assets going on it's going to be really complicated for me to um put everything into a specific asset download file for you guys so yeah i know some of you would ask if i could put this up but i'm not going to and i'm sorry about that you guys but anyway thank you guys for watching i hope this has helped it's helped me actually probably more than you guys but anyway i'll catch you guys later